Joining me now is David Duell, CEO of Easy Health, which employs about 200 people worldwide. He's one of the CEOs backing Ackman's call to not hire Harvard students who blamed Israel. In fact, he says his professional LinkedIn page has now been disabled because he shared an article that named some of the student leaders whose group signed on to the letter. David, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. All right, before we get to the bigger picture, what happened with your LinkedIn page? I had shared the article that was put together that shared the names of some of the students behind these organizations, and ultimately my, my page was disabled. Wow. Now, you are doing this for what reason and how? Meaning, when I say how, meaning are you actively now trying to assess who these people are just to make sure you don't hire them? Well, let me start with some history, I think, uh, to share some context. You know, my, my family fled their homeland of Iran over, you know, for 2,000 years. You know, they, they were Jews, and they had to leave during the revolution. I was not raised to take my freedoms for granted, and I'm a student of history and know how tenuous our security and safety could be. Um, and the history of the Jewish people and my parents' journey shows me that clearly. So I felt the need to speak up and, and take action, even if it came at a personal or financial price. Um, however, you know, I, I, I knew that the price of inaction and, the, and silence could be greater. Um, and just looking back at history, at the turn of the 20th century, 40% of university faculty and students in Vienna were Jews. And that ultimately went to zero. I feel that the campus situation in America could take that path as well. And I want to make sure that if there's anything I could do to at least try to curb that effect, and we've already seen that Jewish admissions has already been dwindling over the years at a lot of these elite academic institutions because the lack of safety felt on campus across the Ivy Leagues and even more broadly. Today I was at UCLA and people were chanting river to the sea, calling for genocide of the Jewish people. Um, so my view is that you know, everyone has a right to be forgiven and not be judged by their worst decisions if they want to renounce. Um, because I could imagine that some people did get caught up into this, uh, uh, you know, unfairly. But ultimately, if they want to continue calling for the genocide of the Jewish people, then their employers, their friends, and their neighbors should have a right to know that they harbor these beliefs. And are you in the process still of trying to, to get the names of, of these folks? Uh, th there are other organizations already dedicated to that activity and aggregating um, names and lists of folks ac across the country. That's not something I'm personally, you know, actively participating in. Um, I believe that there's a bunch of lists already being circulated and shared across different online forums, um, and those will make their way into the hands of, of different people, and they'll do what they want with those lists. Yeah. Oh, well, look, I think taking principled positions um, is really important on something like this. David Duell, uh, thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.